First off, I want to give all praises and glory to the Most High Yahweh in the name of His only begotten Son Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Hebrew, it's called Halal Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rahach Kodash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me this truth. Salutations to all the brothers out there that's teaching this word in truth and sincerity. And peace, blessings, and healings on to the elect, because that's why we do these videos. And um, today I want to talk about this, you know what I'm saying, all the protests that's going on around the world with the farmers and other protests that's going on with um, food riots and uh, the rising prices, you know what I'm saying? So it says, Dutch farmers bring tank to fertilize a protest. Cops shoot tractor. Also, I got another article up here that says, um, the summer of food riots is starting. Let me read this little paragraph they got right here. It says, the freedom farmer protests in the Netherlands are growing into a global movement. It says it has now spread to Germany, Poland, and Italy and Europe, but also in countries across the world. Farmers and citizens collectively rise up to protest their governments, and this is prophecy, man. Destructive climate policies and other shortages that threaten livelihoods and the global food supply. Let the summer of food riots begin. And before we start, you know, before I start getting videos on the, the farmers' protests and the protests that's going on, you know, I wanted to get this. It says Romania, huge fire in a wheat field in Transylvania. You know, and I got this video right here. So this is only 41 seconds, and then I'm going to get some scriptures on this, and then we're going to move on. All right, man, so, yeah, how about some of the not playing with y'all, man? You saw what he did. He made Russia and Ukraine go to war. Now the, the wheat that goes out to the rest of the world has basically stopped. And now you got wheat everywhere that you have by some of burning up. So I want to get some scriptures, man. This is Isaiah um, 29 and 6. Thou shalt be visited of you have some of the hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of divine fire, man. How about some shots gonna bring in this famine, man? This is Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse thirteen. They that till the ground shall mourn, for their seed shall fail through the blessing and hell, and with a fearful consolation. Your um, your wheat farm basically on fire, man. That's a fearful consolation, and that's from Yahweh by Shemesh. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, because we're at that time right now. So, you know, now I'm gonna get all these uh, protest videos. So, you know, bear with me. I got a lot of them. Okay, so, um. You can read the top up here, and but I'm gonna play these videos. Dovreste venire tutti con noi perché mancherà il pane sulla tavola in queste condizioni. Non ce la facciamo più, non ce la facciamo più, dovreste essere con noi. A Roma, sì, a Roma dobbiamo andare. A Roma perché non è più possibile.
We zijn aan het hamsteren bij de Alpenstraat. Alpenstraat! This is strictly prophecy, the man. You showing up to the store and nothing be there, you know. So I'm gonna get this second Ezra six and twenty two, man. And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown, and the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty, man. You know, just think about that. Yeah, how about some got the farmers protesting and they're not bringing food to the store? That's prophecy, man. Put two and two together, man. And the trumpet shall give a sound which. When every man hears it, they shall suddenly be afraid. You go to the store, ain't nothing, nothing there. You're going to be afraid, man. Because you can see how uh, 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 brittle everything is. How it can collapse so fast. Okay? So, going back. Now, this is the Netherlands. No farmers, no food. So, I'm going to get back to these videos. Kenya, no food, no election. Kenyans protest against the huge increase in fuel and food costs driven by supply chain disruptions and war in Ukraine. Don't this just sound very uh, 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 like the blue, they gave all these people the blueprint and it's going down everywhere, just like with the, uh, the, sh the lockdowns. It says, to its shame, Kenya is a net importer of food. The people have had enough lockdown. Collateral isn't just a Western fuck up. BBC Nirgal and Varakum Banakam, Ural Kanakuri Arkum, Janadi Mali, and Mita Pagadil, that for the Mindabur Porat and Meditir Kindradi, that for the Palavidi that I got eight parts of the Podilum, Tiri and Kubinda, Perendiralano, that for the Undukudi in Darkin, that for the Kuripaka, that for the Kandil Puga Periog, Medpola Kuri, Kachika Kanakuri, Rakum, Kandil Puga Periog, that for the Medpola Patavarin today. Ungal kanak kuri agar kau marpur tertil kanir pukai peraya kau, bidi kalah ini oki visa patir kini terus bidi kalah oki visa patah bodilum podo makal ke poku warta nara beri kekeli lidi uru eight pertumbagai il bidi il inda 
கண்ணீர் புகை பிரயோகம் மேற்கொள்ளப்பட்டது மரபுரத்தில் நீர்த்தாரை பிரயோகம் போலீசார் நீர்த்தாரை பிரயோகத்தை மேற்கொண்டு வருகின்றார்கள் ஜனாதிபதி மாளிகை அண்மித்த பகுதியில் உங்களால் காணக்கூடியதாக இருக்கும் மேல் நோக்கி மற்றும் ஒரு கண்ணீர் புகை பிரயோகம் மேற்கொள்ளப்பட்டது இது பிரதான வீதியின் நடுவில் பிரதான வீதியில் கொண்டு சென்று வீழ்ந்திருந்ததை காணக்கூடியதாக இருந்தது அதே போன்று நீர்த்தாரை பிரயோகம் கண்ணீர் புகை பிரயோகம் தொடர்ச்சியாக மேற்கொள்ளப்பட்டு வருகின்ற சூழ்நிலையிலும் மக்கள் தொடர் போராட்டங்களில் ஈடுபட்டு வருகின்றார்கள் பல்வேறு தடைகளை மீறி தொடர்ச்சி I've seen enough of that you know going back to this article you know this one and I just want to name off some things it says Polish farmers are rising up um Italian farmers start blocking roads it says um India India farmers break through police barricades protests are taking place in India against the aggravation of the water crisis in the state of Punjab Ghana Africa breaking protests in Ghana breaking out due to soaring prices of fuel food and high cost of living inflation surges of 27% it says um even in Seoul uh 50,000 people demonstrate demanding better working conditions and a minimum wage hike as inflation hits 6% its highest level in 24 years it says sri lanka we saw um a video of that and then right here lots of protests around the world you know what i'm saying ghana ecuador sri lanka scotland ireland uk belgium france netherlands israel south korea zimbabwe kenya to tunisia chile um argentina indonesia greece italy lebanon iran peru ghana cyprus and turkey so hey man this is prophecy you know what i'm saying So um I want to get straight into the scriptures. Um this is second Ezra chapter 9. I'm going to read from the top. It says he answered me then and said measure out the time diligently in itself and when thou seest parts of the signs past which I have told thee before. You have us some shot told us these days were coming man. You know the protests are just the beginning and then the people are going to fight against their uh power structure, okay? Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time where the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. He's visiting the world man. Therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people of the world uproars all over then shalt thou well understand that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee even from the beginning he told us man for like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end and the end is manifest where at the end man even so times of the also of the highest have plain beginnings and wonder and powerful works and endings and effects and signs you know One of the signs he told us were these blood moons, man. You know, that's just one. And the prophecies that's going on, man. It's getting, everything's ramping up. Those are signs of the end of the world. Okay, so, um, I want to go here to 2nd Ezra chapter 15. So, what's up, what's up to the people right now? Okay, saying the summer of food riots. Then what's going to happen, man? You know, you got food riots and stuff like that. It's going to be sedition. Okay, that's in the scriptures too. Um, this is 2nd Ezra 15 and um, 14. Woe to the world and then that dwell therein. I got 13 talking about, you know, a, 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 a deceit shall fail. For the sword and their destruction draweth nigh. People's destruction is drawn nigh. And one people shall stand up and fight against another and swords in their hands. For there sh shall be sedition among men. and invading one another they shall not regard their kings nor princes and the courts of their actions shall stand in their power so the people's going to fight back against their power structure a man shall have no desire to go into a city and shall not be able martial law is going to be declared for because of their pride the city shall be troubled the house shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid so you know everything's going according to plan man so repent if you want to be protected in these horrible days that's coming okay it's called Jacob's trouble in the scriptures you know the whole world's going to feel it you know wherever you're at no matter where you at this nwo that these elites are planning is the blueprint has went out to all the country so the only way to be protected from these people is to repent and um turn back to you how about Shemesh if not he's going to let these people overcome you so double honor to the elders and apostles of Jesus who taught me the truth and call Allah you how about Shemesh Shemesh Kakabash